with the road conditions, we're just kind of seeing everybody have a hard time driving. Nearly a dozen cars sit smashed on Route 16, one of several crashes that were reported on state highways Christmas morning. We're seeing a lot of crashes. So far, we've had 64, and we're still counting that. Um, we've actually had to shut down the roadways a few times. From I-93 to 95 to the Everett Turnpike, where 15 cars were involved in a crash, to I-89, where this tractor trailer went off the road. Saturday's weather did not make it easy for people heading to their holiday destinations. It took us an hour to get the car chipped out of its protective casing oh, yeah. of ice. Yeah. It was yeah quarter inch. <laughs> Look at an actual quarter inch ice covering the entire car. Liz Fox and Steve Kramer hit the road to head back to Massachusetts from New London. The icy conditions making for a slow commute. I'm not super surprised. I mean, you know, we were, we were watching the weather. You know, this is the kind of thing that happens. As soon as I saw that it was going to be a mix between the rain and then into the snow, I knew it was going to be a, a, a mess out there. And that it was. Throughout the day, sloppy slush stuck to state and local roads. The speed limit on highways dropped to 45. As New Hampshire DOT crews try to keep up with it all. Obviously, people have Christmas plans, but we'd ask that people slow down, plan ahead, obviously use their seatbelts um, and drive for whatever road conditions they have at that time. And that advice goes for anyone who is traveling throughout tonight or early tomorrow morning. State police say they just want everyone to really just take it slow. Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.